Hey, it's Joe again, and I'm going to unbox my new Garmin H820 bundle. Before I do that, I'll just show you what's on the box. Just letting you know about the emergency alert message that can be sent, which is new in the 820. Well, if you have an accident on your bike, it will send a message to uh, some, a designated person to alert them. If you just drop the bike by accident, you can cancel the message within 20 seconds. This is showing some of the different sc screens you can have up. And of course it comes with built-in maps so that you can be guided to a destination. Or you can also upload courses which you can then follow. Compatible with iPhone 4S or later and most Bluetooth smart capable Android devices. Android 4.3 plus is required. And first thing I see is the device itself with the plastic cover on it on the screen. And here it is. It's noticeably smaller than the 1000. It's actually the exact same size as the Garmin Edge 520, which is another wonderful bike computer. It's the mount on the back. It's for your USB cable, your micro USB cable. Two buttons on the bottom, and it has a touch screen. Also in the box, it's the heart rate monitor. The out front mount, which I really like. micro USB cable the standard quarter turn mounts and cables for them And the quick start manual. So just to run through what all the pieces were in the box, this is the heart rate monitor and this little device here is what you clip to the heart rate monitor before you attach it to your chest. This right here is the bike cadence monitor. This will actually attach to the crank of your pedal and it will wirelessly send your cadence to the base unit. Okay, I'm going to switch this on for the first time with the power button on the side. It's powering up and telling me it's a Garmin. Loading courses, workouts and locations, loading and plus. Okay, so the basic setup is pretty straightforward. Select English. Select your units format. Select my 12 hour time format. Select my gender. I'm just going to leave it with the default birth year, but I actually got here a little bit earlier than 1978, but that's fine for now, I'll set that later. And uh, yeah, that's really not right, so I just add weight. There you go. And change that a bit. And I 
think fair cycling ability is pretty right. Connect sensors, I'm not going to do that right now. So I'll say no. Connect my Bluetooth, I'm going to say yes. Uh, and I'm going to go to my phone. Go to my settings, go to my Bluetooth. Let's see if I see this coming up. Oh, there it is. It has popped up at the bottom. I'm going to select it. And uh, yes, I will pair. It asked me to confirm the code. The code is the same, so I pair up. And now I'm going to go open my Garmin Connect mobile app, which I already had on my phone. There it is there. Do I want to set up incident detection? Not now, I'll do that later. It's busy syncing. It tells me at the bottom of my phone that it's syncing with the Edge A20. I've already got my Garmin Connect app synced with a lot of other apps like activity and health which is why I'm seeing a lot of things on the screen you might not see all of those things if you haven't connected up other apps okay so once you succeed in getting connected you see the screen that comes up on the Edge A20 is actually very different to the screens that you'll see in any other in any other Garmin Edge bike computer it's got quite a nice simplified screen it's just got three choices train, navigate and training and down here it's got the IQ connection which is new as well I click on that basically what it's telling me to do is to download connect IQ apps widgets and data fields using the Garmin Connect mobile app so that's something you can do I have, I'm not going to do that right now that's down there is the menu going to have a little bit more of a look at that menu while I'm still indoors so you've obviously got a history rides and totals I've never used this so there's nothing in there there's my stats which will it's got all of the the great new things that come that have come with the recent generation of Garmin Edge bike computers such as the recovery advisor which requires you to ride with a heart rate monitor um, for, for 10 minutes to see recovery time so that's just something that will give you a rough idea like it will say wait 24 hours before your next bike ride and if you're like me you won't listen to it but it's handy to have I guess VO2 max which is obviously just a um, just a guesstimate because for a real VO2 max measurement you need to go to a laboratory and spend a lot of money but it gives you some kind of an idea and it does require a heart rate monitor and a power meter FTP it's, you can enable auto calculation of your FTP if you wish stress score this one I kind of like it will show up once you've done some rides and it just gives you a measure of how much time you spent in a high stress zone putting a lot of pressure on your heart or not sometimes you want to do that sometimes you don't want to do that depending on your medical background and your training goals but it's a nice little snapshot of how hard you actually worked and it's interesting it's often quite different from what you expected personal records furthest distance fastest 40k most ascent best power etc I use the profile in case I wanted to change that training zones which you can set up as heart rate zones so this is cool this is set this all up based on who I am uh, auto detected maximum auto detect resting heart rate lactate threshold and, so, and then got your basic your rates of aerobic stress that you're putting on your body ranging from zone 1 which is 50 to 60 percent of your maximum heart rate 
going right up to zone 5 which is 90 to 100 percent which isn't recommended for anybody except maybe someone in the last 50 meters of a race you can keep an eye on what zones you're exercising in so you know if you're pushing yourself too hard or not hard enough that's it for that menu context now that's a pretty cool one and then all your settings you've got activity profiles uh, you can train be in the training zone the indoor zone or the race zone this is where you would connect up your various sensors such as your power meter your cadence monitor this is one of the biggest things that's new in the Garmin Edge A20, it's the battery save mode. So battery save mode automatically adjusts settings to achieve prolonged battery life. During activity, the screen turns off. Tap the screen to wake it up. So that's really useful and that's going to prolong your battery life if you're on a long ride and you're not using the map or you don't need to look at the map all the time. Group track, that's something else that's new on the Garmin Edge A20. So basically what it is, is if you and your buddies are out on a ride and all of you have the same uh, live track software on your by computers, you can then see on the map by means of little dots where all your buddies are and um, how far ahead or behind they are. Or uh, perhaps if you're on doing a tour, if somebody's lost, you can pick out where they are and go find them. More likely with me, I'd be lost and they'd be coming to find me, but... So that's an interesting thing. I don't know in practically how often you could use that because it requires everyone else to have the same hardware and software that you have. Uh, but maybe one of these days we all will just have it built into our phones or our brain chips anyway. It's your Bluetooth. Tells me which smartphone I'm paired to. Device transfers. I can share files with nearby connections if I wanted to. Don't want to do that right now Wi-Fi and system display okay so this is where you can change things like auto brightness backlight timeout color mode one of the things that you can do with this little bike computer is infinitely customize it to what you want from it um, like different types of screens you can have I believe it's up to nine data fields per screen if you want. I'd find that a bit much on a screen this size. Units, tones, language, reset, and about. I'm just gonna, this little button at the back is handy for going back to where you were before. I'm going to get out of there and I'm going to take this little computer out on a ride and see how it works.